it's not your mama but I'm just as wise so for this DIY we're gonna make a card box so I went to the Dollar Tree and we have two of these baskets that's for another DIY we got two packs of the little princess shoes you're gonna need glue gun glue sticks e6000 scissors <sighs> we have these gemstones that are on sheets I would rather use the diamond wrap but we're gonna see how it works out and then I have this uh, spray paint it's gonna be gold metallic and then I do have some clear coat we're gonna do on top to make it shine so I am going to spray paint these I did take off the little bow that has the little dot um, princess on it because I just want the shoes so we're gonna take those off like these we're gonna put them to the side and once we get to the next step All right, y'all, so we're back. So this is the basket that we spray painted. And the shoes. Who cares if the bottoms are not all the way spray painted? They're gonna be down anyway. You're not gonna see them. I do wanna tell you a trick though. When you're spray painting these baskets, I suggest that you do the inside first and then flip it over and do the outside. You can get like the insides of over there while you're spray painting them because when I did it um, and I flipped the next morning, these were not spray painted good. So I actually, this is two days later, but um, it is two days later and these little plastic shoes, the plastic parts themselves are still like a little tacky. So, I don't know if the spray paint doesn't want to hold to it at all, so I'm going to try my best not to touch that. But back here and all this is all dry, I'm able to touch this. So the purpose of the shoes is we're going to hold this basket up for the cards that anybody brings for the party. So it's a money card basket. Um, I have decided to do it long ways instead of short ways, meaning short ways is what I'm saying. So we're gonna do it long ways. So one of the baskets is completely how it was besides spray painted. And then this one, I cut it. So I literally cut one across and two squares down so that people can fit the cards in there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to glue this basket on top of this basket and the cards will be able to go in there. The shoes are basically the leverage to hold the basket up. Because remember our whole theme is like princess, diva, which is my child, diva. And First, what we're going to do is we're going to glue the shoes to the basket. So I think I like this positioning. I'm trying to see like where I position it so that the glue will stay the best. So it won't come apart. So that the actual heel of the shoe has like good grip onto the basket. skirt which you'll see in another video it was a lot of cutting with tool there's still tool everywhere I still have my tool skirt hanging on the two pillars that you walk into my house trying to still put tool on there but I had to take a break from that tool because it's driving me crazy which is really not that hard to do it's just tedious all right 
So, my glue gun is hot. We are going to go in with the E6000 first. to the heels where I know the glue is going to stick the best. Okay. 6,000 needs to be closed immediately or it will act cray. of glue on all of them. All right. don't position the shoe right like one of the shoes will be kind of like coming up so one will be like this and the rest will be flat so you want to kind of make sure that they're all flat down once you put the glue on cardboard box out of here. It's not allowing me to have them at the right angles. side same thing So I got it to hold, but that looks really crappy. So I'm thinking of ideas of how we're going to hide this glue that is holding the shoe to the basket. So I do still have some flowers left over, so I'm kind of just playing with it. I'll show you four of my ideas. So 
we can just have just the flower and the shoe, which these are gonna still be embellished. Or I'm thinking I like this, the glue sticks are only holding up the gems, so the gems could hide the glue and just kind of have them fall down. Again, that will have the embellishment there. Then I have this one, which has the gem at the bottom. I already placed this on here. So that's the embellishment for the shoe, which I will be doing to the other two. But I have the white pearls and the flower coming down. Then I'm like, okay, so if they're sticking flower, the cards in there, are the flowers gonna get smushed, but it looks cute. That's the white pearls. And then this one is the gold pearls. So that's what I'm doing at this moment. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. This one looks plain to me. All I did was literally just pull a sticker off. They're already sticky, but I still put a little glue. Let's hide that ugly spot. That's all I did for that. All right, so I decided to go with the diamonds. Those are done. I am going to do a tool skirt around this, but I'm gonna cut it like right there. And then I'm going to put this rope on top to hide the skirt top. Again, these will be cut. It's gonna tie into these dessert trays that I have because they have the rope on them as well. Show you that in another video, but so we're gonna cut these. I'm going to cut these right here. I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do with the top. So I put pearls around here. I did just do diamond wrap at first, but it was so like blah and I didn't like it, so I put the pearls around. Then I did start putting some of the diamond gems from the sheet on but I'm gonna work on the bottom first so we'll be back okay so basically this is what I decided to do so we have the gems coming down the shoe these are still sticky it's been four days so I have to find something else that I'm gonna put here I don't know if you could see like the smudge marks and stuff anything is sticking to it the up uh, the rest of the shoe is fine just this part but anyway we have all of the tutu and the top of the box so it's gonna look like that. Oh, my bad. I might get like something that says cards, maybe like some little letters or something here. Don't know yet. But this is what we're doing so far. But I was just gonna show you really quickly, since this side is not done, what I'm doing. So I have about, you can barely see it, but it's like three inch strips. And you basically pinch it in the middle. So you make a hoop. And then I'm actually gonna use the white one. It's like, it's pink glittery. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter. Barely. Okay. So, put it in the middle. Hoop. And then go right on the basket. 
pull the string from the back through your loop. Pull it straight down. Yes, it's longer than the rest. See that? So what I've been doing was two whites, one pink. Two whites, pull two glittery pinks, because it's glittery pink, but it looks white to me. But two whites, one pink, all the way around, and then we'll continue decorating. But I'll show you one more time. So, a piece, make a loop. Grab the bottom so the loop is in my fingers. I hold the tail. Grab the tail through the loop and just pull down. It's that simple. So to fill this in, what I've been doing is I make another white one. Here, I'll just show you. So I made the, the loop. I go to the side of this bar right here this bar right here and once I pull them all together where to go so. it makes that gap that was right there disappear because now once we floof it put the pink keep going it fills it all in you can see how all these are filled in. 